most honor killers have no sense of guilt. For them, the laws of the clan are above the laws of the state. The killer of 24-year-old Kurdish woman says in even stressed in court that he was proud of his act. A few hours after the divorce, he stabbed his ex-wife 12 times in Munich in October 2006, then doused her with gasoline and set her on fire in front of their five-year-old son. In court, he said, I am very happy that I committed the crime. For me it was the right thing to do. If people ask me about it again in 20 years, I will say the same thing. Kazim Mohamed Rashid openly despises the German legal system. For him, it is a mistake that women have any rights at all and that the judiciary and authorities protect these rights. The backstory is easy to guess. The Kurdish woman was forcibly married off by her father in Kurdish northern Iraq in 2000, a relative says in court, she was sold. She comes to Germany and is abused by her husband for years. Eventually she gets a restraining order. But he does not comply and continues to harass her and check her mail. In court, he boasts that he has called her sometimes as many as 300 times a day. However, he takes a Vietnamese mistress himself, which he also admits in court. Kazim also says that his father-in-law ordered him to commit the murder. This would mean that a father had his own daughter killed because she was on the run from her husband's abuse. It is not clear if this is true. Kazim receives a life sentence for this in October 2007, with a special plea of guilty, so he cannot be released after 15 years. He accepts the verdict with a smile. Thank you for watching this video and helping us build a large database of stories about honor killings. Please subscribe to our channel Honor Killing on YouTube.